Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and this one's on the Metro Matoran from 2004. So first off, we have the instruction a sheet like insert for like one of the sets, which shows the combination model of the logo website, Lego logo and set number, and the three that make this combination model, and also of uh, one of two step or two or three steps of that combination model. But nowadays you can get that online of course. And then all the instructions for that. Just like how all the Matoran and smaller sets kind of did. <clears throat> first up for the builds, first of which is Nuri. Yeah, Nuri. Now, a little thing to note is that all the Matorans, like most of the sets, of which same build, but just different colors and different mask, and in this case, different Kanoka discs. So, first of which is for the legs. So, the legs of which which are just being standard bull rock feet foot pieces but in darker and dark colors which is when uh, the Metro Nui sagas started to get that until 2007 Mari Nui that is and then also do you have those oh, these common limb pieces which are just stuck at a 90 degree bend and um, also do have a uh, plus rod hole in them the center of them and of course and of course been used on a whole lot of sets after this and as for the torso piece which is just one solid piece for that well whereas this one particular was also reused on Zidorak in the, in the following year our back side which which is where all the limbs can come together on to, and also for the head to connect and just tilt side to side, not at all around the course. And then on to the head parts of which, which little thing that all these mask pieces, all the same as for the uh, Taraga a few years earlier, but in like, in like silver mixed with another color for that, or the main color for that. So in this case, it's Taranga Wanua for that, and underneath is just the same exact headpiece as all the sets from the first three years. So of course, this is which one of the last times you get to see that on a whole bunch of sets. Well, until the play sets the following year, of course, and also wearing a darker gray color for that, and also. Also, the eye stock pieces, also different on each of the sets. Well, different arrangement for that, of course. And then, as for what each and torn all come with, is the large uh, disc launchers, which hold the Kanoka disc kind of pieces, which uh, all of which glow in the dark. Uh, for that, and also what those numbers are for, something through Kanoka Club or whatever. And also, and now how they work like is they can like pinch these together and watch us off. Well, let's do that again. And of course, watch us off quite powerfully. Well, same with like Toa Vakama's uh, launcher, that is, which was a little differently shaped for that. But at least. And there were also the uh, separate disc packs that you can buy separate to do so. In the, yeah. And also the Kanoka discs themselves, just the same as from the uh, Throwbots and the uh, uh, Taraka or Tahonga slash Mictorn with the three slots for the fingers for that. But it's not used for that, but whatever. And as for Nuri here, well, that's about it for Nuri. And now, 
next to which is Visola. Which, again, same build, but also is, and of course, in dark blue, since it's the blue water one. And also her mask, of which, same as uh, Taraga Oni was, but in dark blue and all. And also the orange eye stock piece that the Metro characters all had. You know. And also, again, here's what's kind of interesting is that in the uh, Met in Bonkle 2 Legends of Metro Nui movie, the uh, Toa Metro, before they became the Toa, only mature in the films to resemble this build for that. When all the rest of the Matoran were the same as in Mask of Light. Which, not sure why, but whatever. But also, um, oh, what else? And also, in that movie, when Nokama sticks a keystone into the Suva there, since she's the water toy, it actually, the symbol she stuck it in was, is this symbol rather than this symbol. Didn't make much logical sense, but whatever. And if anyone knows why that is, comment down below. But yeah. Next of which is Orcom. Which also in dark green. And his Kenoka disc, like that. And also all the Kenoka discs also came in the Vaki sets in the summer wave of 04. Oh, for that. So it didn't stay exclusive for long. Okay. <clears throat> and then as for the Mask of Witch, same as that Toa Nuju once had, but in dark green and silver, of course. And dark red eye stocks, of which Yeah, dark red eye stocks piece which the all the uh, Metru or all the uh, air metru characters had. And also a little axle rod in the lower back for that. Mostly just for the combination models, of course. And that's about it for Orca. And next to it is Tehuti. It was the black earth one. But also this disc piece also reused on Nidiki for randomly for whatever reason. And then the mask piece, which is in also, which is uh, Taraga Vakama and uh, Maku's masks, but in silver and black. But as you all might may recall that uh, 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 Ma Waka and Kane Rod in 2001 also had this, but it was in all black. But although this switch can kind of work out as an affected version of that. Well, just saying, just a thought for that. And then, not much, of, and of course, same as the rest of it, but also trans green eye stock, which most of the Earth characters all had. Well, both Metru and Mata, of course. And that's about it with that. And now on to uh, Akmo. Which in this lightish brown color. Well, so, and of course, Metro Nui ones were first time with a lighter brown for that. And, and of course, this lighter brown, which we also saw on the stone characters in Generation 2 Bonacle as well. And then, mask piece, same as, uh, as, uh, as Taraga No Commas ones. So, and also the disc here. Which was also used on Kreka as well. And also, kind of weird, but this was Odiwa's, the stone Taraga, and this was Nokama's, the water Taraga. So each was kind of a swap around for that. Kind of good for like recoloring of characters and such. But yeah. And then that was it there. And then lastly is uh, uh, Eerie. So it's also the same build, but uh, Taraga Matau's mask, but in silver and white for that. 
And of course, light blue ice dock piece as all ice characters had. Well, until Venture Nui, that is. And also for to mention it is a dark blue eye stock piece for uh for Akbo, but also that's well a a, a Metro Nui stone characters hat. And of course the walking disc, which I mentioned earlier, and same build as all the rest, but yeah. And now, let me get that up all together. And now, on to the final verdict. Overall, I think these of which are quite good sets for the time and also today. Like, as good little parts packs and also major update upgrade from the uh, earlier Matoran or Tahanga. And of course, interesting like um, mask color swap, these two, and also these two, and also these two. Oh, whoops. It was kind of weird how that is since. Even though they were opposite color schemes on the like 2001 Taraka sets, but then of course this which a new kind of time Metro Nui, kind of time of different starts and so on. And uh, and of course the Kanoka discs quite neat to see on them, and also cheap options to get them. Well, unless you you don't count the disc packs that they had out at the time. And, and of course didn't stay exclusive until the Vlocky sets the following summer wave along with Kraken and Hidiki with just this one and the other of course. So these are which kind of quite still quite good for the time like always still is able like small price and a cheap price point and also playing fun with the disc launchers and so on. And yeah. And of course, Metro Nui, the first time of having some darker colored characters, well, or darker colors were both for red, green, and blue, and also, odd thing is, brightened up uh, brown for some reason, but whatever. And so now, if any of you still have these uh, Matoran sets from back in the day, well, I hope you have some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is about it for this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.